Hello, my name is Jakob Kuchen. I'm in charge of product strategy for MATCAD here at PTC. What I'm about to demonstrate is the new functionality in MATCAD 15 for design of experiments. This is the new functionality in MATCAD 15 to support design of experiments. Uh, design of experiments is a well-known methodology and uh, uh, what I'm going to show you how MATCAD 15, the new functionality uh, in MATCAD 15 supports that methodology. Of course, there are parts of uh, design of experiments uh, that uh, have to happen outside the computational tools such as MATCAD. But for the other elements such as the design, uh, designing the design matrices, uh, regression analysis, factor screening, as well as visualization, uh, MATCAD provides a set of functions to make the job easier. So just a quick overview of the areas. There are four major areas that MATCAD 15 covers. Design matrices, factor screening and plots, regression analysis, Monte Carlo simulation. So uh, in each of these areas there is a ton of functionality over uh, about 30 different functions that all fit together uh, as well as fit nicely together with the rest of MATCAD functionality uh, to support design of ex experiments methodology. So just a quick overview, support for factorial design matrices, uh, Box Wilson, Box Banken, uh, Taguchi designs, uh, functions for uh, screening the factors as, as well as modifying design ma matrices. Uh, for factor screening and plots, uh, again, there is a number of functions to support that. A quick screen that gives you a quick overview of uh, how certain factors affect the process outcome. Um, ANOVA, uh, analysis of vari variance, uh, and plots to visual your results, such as box plots and effects plots and Pareto plots. Uh, for regression analysis, we support a number of functions for multivariate po polynomial regression. And finally, uh, to simulate uh, results based on your analysis, uh, Monte Carlo simulation functionality. The first part of the functionality is creating a design matrix and in this example we are looking at the full factorial matrix uh, with uh, uh, four different factors. We can uh, create one with three different factors. For more than that you probably need a different design uh, but this is good enough for our demonstration. And you can see quickly that uh, this matrix rep is represented, is easy to read uh, and as you will see further on it fits into the functions that you will be using further on. So we have a run and we have a block. Uh, all of these uh, experiments are to be, uh, runs are to be done within a single block. And the minus one and one represent the low and high factor values. Now if you wanted to break these down into two blocks, there is a block function that does exactly that. And this will break our design matrix by block. Now, uh, the other thing you may want to do, you may want to randomize uh, your design matrix and for that you use a randomize function and notice that it reordered the runs in a random order and it did that uh, uh, separately for each block. Now uh, once you created your design matrix typically you would actually conduct the experiment and you can enter the data into a matrix. Of course, if you're familiar with MATCAD, you know that there are many ways to import data into MATCAD calculation. In this particular example, we just typed in a data into a matrix. Once you have the experiment data, you can further use it to screen the factors. A convenient function, function to do that is a quick screen function. In this example, we are looking at the factors and their second order interactions. And we quickly see that the low average, high average, and the effect is being calculated right there. Now, if we want to consider just the first order interactions or individual fact uh, factors, we can do that. If we are interested in screening particular fact factors, we can just type in those that we are interested in and this function will quickly calculate and, um, and show us the effects of those factors. Now, uh, also there's some graphical tools here and I'll show you just one example, which is a Pareto plot uh, that uh, shows you how these uh, factors are uh, reflected. So 
again, to help you make a judgment on uh, how your experimental data looks like.